Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. In the last, the video I did the other time, where I talk about innocent Chukuma, innocent Chukuma, the founder of Innocent Motors, as the solution to demolition of Igbo properties in Lagos. And in that, in that presentation, I talked about the fact that if the South East ports are functional, like Port, ha like Port Harcourt, Calabar Port, Ebon Port, Sapele Port, Wari Port, that people living in the South East doing business in Aba or Nature, Newe and around the region, they wouldn't have any need to go to Lagos to import things through Lagos port. And many people from Southeast who are living in Lagos and who are now victims of demolition may not have any need to be in Lagos. Some some people gave the impression that that there is nothing like Southeast ports. Well, there is something like South East Post. In Nigerian Post Authority, Lexacon, all the ports that are outside Southwest are known as the South East. Those that were in the former South East region of Nigeria, they are known as the South East Ports. But that's not where I'm going right now. It is for those who are also saying that the South East is landlocked, that South East does not have access to the sea. I want to do this video to prove them wrong and to let them know that even federal government is aware that the Southeast is not landlocked. And I'm doing this video so that after you watch it finish, you can preserve it and save it so that anytime the argument comes up that Southeast is landlocked, you play it out to the people. And that I will ask, uh, advise that you share it as widely as possible so that the doubting Thomases will know that the southeast of Nigeria is not landlocked, that the southeast of Nigeria has access to the Atlantic Ocean, just like uh, some of the ports in south southwest, like the Lagos ports, Tinkan Island, and what have you. Now... This video, I want it to be. I want people to know that let it be known that Southeast is not landlocked. It is only the Southeast economy that is locked. The Southeast is not landlocked. It is only the Southeast economy that is locked. Now, one quick way of unlocking the economy of the Southeast is through the marine business. Contrary to the impression that the Southeast is landlocked, the truth is that it has one of the potentially deepest seaports in the country at Osemoto and Oseokwa in Imo State and Anambra States respectively. A seaport was actually designed in these areas in 1959, but the project was abandoned and the admiralty membership erased for political reasons. African Development Bank, ADB, did a feasibility study on this potential port, which unambiguously showed that Osoqua in Ihiala, local government area of Anambra State, and Osemota in Imo State, Oguta, local government area of Imo State, are the deepest natural harbors in the country, over 20 meters deep, and offer real naval and marine transportation platforms if developed. ADP, African Development Bank, they have already done, they had already done a feasibility study on this to find out that it is very viable to have a seaport there. Besides, it lies only 18 
nuclear miles to the Atlantic Ocean, <clears throat> excuse me, and a strategic hub for the oil industry and dry docks to promote trade in the region. This potential seaport has the capacity of handling over 35% of marine business in Nigeria, according to the feasibility study that was done by African Development Bank. As a matter of fact, it was the attraction to these potentials that made the Ikedi Hakim administration in Imo State to site the Oguta Wonder Lake and Resort Center in the area to encourage local and uh, uh, foreign investors, and especially the federal government, to see the potential in the area. Now, if Ndibo and uh, we are to pursue this, this, this project and complete this seaport, it will also open up over 3,000 square kilometers of the most fertile agricultural land that has one of the highest alluvial deposits, which has been in existence for well over 1 million years. Now, this deep seaport will create over 2 million jobs, directly and indirectly, in marine business oil and gas, power, education, housing, agro, agro feed, agro food industry, entertainment, tourism, and what have you. With that type of setting, Igbo youths will have no need to crisscross the country in search of jobs and in the process endangering their lives. And uh, going to places like Lagos and building properties that are randomly demolished with minimal excuses given just to justify the action. I acknowledge the fact that the Southeast is not landlocked. I want to repeat it again. Southeast is not landlocked. It is not landlocked, and the federal government is aware. How, is it, how are they aware? Because the administration of former President Muhammad Buhari kicked off the process of the dredging of the proposed sea route from Oguta Lake, from Oguta Lake, Orashi, Degema, to the Atlantic Ocean. So if Southeast is landlocked, why is federal government part of the process to dredge Oguta Lake, to dredge from Oguta Lake to the Atlantic Ocean. It is because federal government is aware why some ignoramuses are up, out there saying that South East is landlocked, and they can't know better than the federal government of Nigeria. Now, this, uh, on the screen here, I put to you the Oguta Lake, where they are dredging directly to the Atlantic Ocean under this project. Yemi Osibanjo was there, and I'll put the link of the speech that Yemi Osibanjo delivered on the day of kicking off the, the process of acknowledging and then walking towards dredging uh, Oguta Lake Orashi Degema to the Atlantic Ocean, so that you now know for sure, for sure and for certainty that the Southeast is not landlocked. Now, before I go further on this, um, under this uh, video, uh, we have some accessories, phones, and what have you under this link. If you click on under this link, it will take you to Jumia. And whatever you buy through this link, Jumia is going to give you 40% off as a reward for being part of this 
uh, channel. Thank you. And let's continue. Now, at the flag off of the hydrologic, hydrographic survey and dredging of the proposed sea, sea route, at the proposed sea route from Oguta Lake, Orash Degema, to the Atlantic Ocean in Imo State on the 11th May 2023. Former Vice President Yemi Osibanjo, who performed the ceremony on behalf of President Muhammad Buhari, said that as far back as 1914, listen to me carefully, as far back as 1914, the British, understanding its strategic importance, talking about this Oguta Lake, Degema, Orashi Degema to Atlantic Ocean. He say, as far back as 1914, this is federal government talking. It, for those ignoramuses who are talking about that the South is landlocked, he say, as far back as 1914, Yemi Osibanjo talking. He's a professor. He can't be talking anyhow. He say, as far back as 1914, the British understanding its strategic importance in connecting the hinterlands to the coast, utilize this route to facilitate the smooth export of products such as palm oil, timber, and coal from Oguta and its neighboring regions. He said the route has always been a vital component of our nation's potential for increased trade and economic prosperity. And I quote him, Yemi Osibanjo. He said, today, today we aim to revive this, this once vibrant and economic structure, economic strategic channel. This vibrant and economic strategic channel furthering job creation and sustainable growth in Imo State and the entire Southeast region. By enhancing coastal connectivity and facilitating seamless transportation, the project will promote trade and investment, spur growth in multiple sectors, including shipping, manufacturing, and agriculture and offer numerous opportunities for the people. Osibanjo had said when he inaugurated this project in May 2023. That was shortly before they left office. In that same occasion, Osibanjo, according to uh, Buhari, according to Osibanjo, had declared Oguta or Haji Ebema and its environs as an oil and gas free trade zone. He said the proposed free trade zone has one of the largest hydrocarbon deposits in the country. So you can see it clearly that federal government is aware that Southeast is not landlocked. The only thing is that the federal government does not have, have not had the political will to do the needful until the Buhari administration. Hopefully, they will do it. Hopefully, you know, they have left, but this thing is on the pipeline because recently, uh, Arise Television reported that President Bola Tinubu has also indicated, uh, bought, bought the idea of the dredging of the Oguta Orashi River up to the Atlantic Ocean, according to the uh, Arise TV. They said that this indication emerged when Governor Hope Ozadema, who initiated the project, but it wasn't Governor Hope Ozadema that initiated it. This was, as I told you earlier, it was initially initiated. The person who mooted the idea, who brought it up, was Ikedi Hakim. Okay, but Ikedi Hakim unfortunately had only one term, so he couldn't push it further. But also, don't forget that Ikedi had Kim is one of the henchmen supporting uh, Hopu Zodema in his administration. So uh, it's, it's just like an idea carried forward from uh, Ikedi Hakim 
to uh, hope uh, Ozodema. Okay? Now, he was the one that at least brought the center to look into this matter. As I told you, you as in, when I started this, I told you in 1959, it had already been proposed to have a seaport in this area. Okay? And I told you that African Development Bank had also done a feasibility study on its viability and found it very viable. You have also seen the former vice president, Yemi Osibanjo, telling you that even the British have already had been using this area to ship palm oil, timber, and what have you. Even the slave trade were through those routes. Many Igbos that were taken for slavery passed through that route. So it's therefore a fallacy for anybody to tell you that Southeast is landlocked. It is not. It is only some people in the federal government of Nigeria who create the impression that Southeast is landlocked and some people bought it. But uh, thank goodness uh, the Buhari administration has also seen the light. And uh, Tinubu has also uh, I said to have bought into it too. But that is whether they do it or not, to me, is a material. Because I understand that it's going to cost about um, $2 billion to dredge it to the Atlantic Ocean. So even if they didn't do it, even if Tinubu did not do it, one day it will be done. We pray that it be done in our lifetime, but it will be done. It is a geographic reality, a geographic finality. Nobody can change it. The government of Nigeria can delay it, but it will materialize eventually. And if Tinubu continues with it, as Buhari had started the flag off, that would be a nice thing to do because it is going to boost the economy of the country. And Southeast are people who play a lot in the export, export and the import trade of Nigeria. That's a fact. So if they do it, it will be to their credit. But even if they don't do it out of politics, out of the fact that after all, Tinubu is from Lagos, he may still prefer that it does not be built out of selfish economic interest of Lagosians. But one day it will be built. One day a time will come when businessmen from the Southeast region, when something will do, the law will be made whereby individuals can raise the fund to do it, and it will be done. We live in this country where many airports in the southeast, including the Emo, Emo airport, was out of collective communal effort that was led by Chief Emmanuel Iwanyo. So one day, even if federal government didn't do it, Igbos will gather together, given the right economic environment, to pay $2 billion dollars to ensure that this seaport, this Orash River is connected to the Atlantic Ocean and is trade in the region. That's, that's it. That is my take on it going forward. So like, uh, uh, before I begin to talk of this, the, the, they, have, they have submitted the report. You know, um, Yemi Osibanjo flagged off the process of... Uh, of the hydrographic uh, uh, survey. Now, the hydrographic survey had been submitted now to the Imo state government. Okay? It was submitted by the Nigerian Navy. Okay? It had been submitted by the Nigerian Navy. So they have done the hydrographic survey for the dredging, which was kicked off by Professor Yemi Usibanjo. And uh, the group managing director and chief executive officer, Nigerian Hydrological agency, Rear Admiral Hassan Kaoje, he led a team of top naval officers to submit the report to Zodema at the government house. Okay? So they have done their own part. The next part is for the people of, for Nigerian government, federal government to do their own part, to kickstart the process of the dredging. And like I said, whether they do it or not, the same material. This video is just to clear the fact that the Southeast is not land locked. And like I said, if 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 if, it, if 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 they want to dredge it, it's going to cost a land is likely to cost about two billion dollars. 
And you know that this government is crying that uh, uh, Buhari administration has uh, uh, destroyed the country and the country is literally bankrupt. So I don't know whether this project will be a priority project for the Tinubu administration. But the important thing is the fact that with this video I have made, you can see with clarity and certainty proof that Southeast is not landlocked and that it has access to the sea. And this access to the sea is directly through uh, Oguta Lake, Degema, Orashi River. It's, it's established. And there are historical records to show that it had been used before to take slaves out of the southeast, to move palm oil out of the southeast, to move timber out of the southeast to England. So nobody can come and tell you again that southeast is landlocked because it is not. This is proof that southeast is not landlocked. And federal government has also confirmed it by this report you just heard from here. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget that if you click links that takes you to Jumia under this video, you are going to get 40% uh, off for any phone or another accessories that you bought uh, through the link. And uh, the like I said, on your screen is uh, is pinned uh, Oguta Lake. The day that uh, Professor Yemi Osibanjo uh, commissioned it, and what I put there is his own Twitter uh, picture. Yemi Osibanjo put it on his own Twitter handle, his ex handle, the day he performed this function to confirm that Southeast indeed has access to the sea. You can see it pinned on the wall here, Yemi Osibanjo's uh, Twitter handle on the day that he performed the, the ceremony, which uh, showed without doubt that Southeast is not landlocked. And uh, I will put uh, the link to the speech so that you can read the whole speech that Professor Yemi Osibanjo delivered on the day of kicking off the hydro hydrographic survey for the dredging of uh, Ebema, Orashi, Degema River to the Atlantic Ocean to facilitate movement of marine trade, marine transportation, connecting the southeast and the rest of the world. Thank you and God bless you and yours.